start by saying we didn't work on just one song because we were just working together without Frank. So we just had some random ideas. I had some ideas I sent them ahead of time. We had some ideas about those ideas, just like an idea festival. Right at the end, we got an email from Frank Ocean and he liked one of them a lot, so we spent time putting some last bits on that. But I tell you, he worked so fast that I've been like really surprised because they're like doing like three or four things that was like multitasking on the recording, quick ideas. Like you used to have to write songs together. And then we heard well, Yeah, then we the songs. <laughs> but we just write and record at the same time. Good. That sounds good. Yeah, duh, I rule with this. I was a little nervous because we did four songs and actually all of them are crazy. Like one of them is super electronic. One of them is really like heavy. One of them is just, we just freaked out one night. It was Tuesday, we just did a pop thing. Little birds and twitter. Yeah, and, uh, got Disney. some little fairies and birds. Oh, heard the reverb. This is the most exciting thing we're doing so far today. <laughs> and the last one is the one that we spent the most time on now. And it had like a, a guitar strumming and a drum idea. Paul did the bass line in. He just picked up the guitar and did the chorus for it. It was pretty much the fastest one we did, but... Yeah, I feel like it sounds the most like what a Clash sound could sound like today. Frank really liked that one, so we said the parts over to him like right now. So these are some of my influences, you know, to be able to do that as, as musicians and producers. Just yeah. whatever rose to the surface is an idea. So just not be afraid of doing things. Sort of over to Frank now, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's over to him. We'll see what he does, and then it comes back to me, and then back to them. Back and forth like that for a bit. <laughs> yeah. I've never worked like that before.